It's a chance for us now to sit and moan. Uh, really, uh, frankly, and that's where we stand. We're going to talk about the Masters in a minute's time or a few minutes' time if we can get our way past what was a very disappointing, uh, ultimately, what turned out to be the final day of the first of two, two tests. Why not three? But anyway, of two tests in which we basically capitulated again. Fourth uh, match in a row now where we've basically thrown away winning positions. The bowlers have performed superbly. They yeah. really have. And again, well, may, maybe the question mark might be over that, that last wicket partnership, the extra 47 runs that, that took them past the 300 mark yeah. as a lead. Uh, maybe we might look at that, but overall the bowlers have done their you job. You talk about the catches that do lose matches. Well, in the <laughs> first innings, you would yeah. have to. Mahalo well, Jai yeah. Warden, the, you know, yeah. his Christmas and birthday come all at once there, literally, yeah. with Monty dropping two no, catches. And for me, true. for me, uh, as good a spinner as the man is, you cannot have someone like that in the field. A complete okay. amount of liability, because the ball will follow him. No, it will do. It's, it's inevitable. He's exactly right. So we'll talk about the way that the team shapes up in a moment's time by looking at the batsman. But in terms of actually losing that first game, where do we now stand in tying this series up? What does that look like to you, Dan? I'm not entirely sure that this has changed that much. No. Because, because of the way we performed in Pakistan... The, um, uh, not the odds would have been necessarily stacked against us. It would have been a, a tad closer than that, maybe, in terms of uh, Sri Lanka's price would have been a bit closer to, to evens than, than that. But uh, England at 11 to 5 to come back, I can't see it. I no, really can't. I, no. think, I, think, I, th I think it's going to... I think uh, we've nailed our flag to the master with this one now in terms of the way that the, the, the team's mentality at the moment going out there and knowing it's, it's that... It's too predictable, isn't it? The, yeah. way, the way that you know, we, put, we, get to, we do get into a position where we can... You know, the low-scoring games we've been involved in... They all have been. And yet always... I don't think we've seen one score over 400, no, have we, this, no. this, 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 since uh, the turn of the year? No, 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 no the United Arab Emirates or anything like that. No, no, not, no certainly not. We'll talk about the team now, and let's do it the, the, the only way we can, because, as you say, the bowling, to a certain extent, sorts itself out. However, the batting becomes crucial here, because where do we actually see runs coming from at this stage? Where's the consistency? Well, I think Ian Bell, the talk was about him in the batting lineup before the match, and uh, he was struggling to, to, to for a bit of form. Came back and hit a half-century in the first innings, and I think has done enough to keep his place yeah. in the team. Kevin Peterson... You know, did a bit better in the second innings than he did in the first. I think you can't. It's a bit like taking Wayne Rooney to the Orange. You can't not take him. You know, no, I don't no, think you no, can't not play Kevin that. Peterson. No. Jonathan Trott. You know, despite a century today, he must be thinking. You know, I couldn't have done anything else. Certainly not. Alistair Cook stays at the top of that order, rightly so because of the form that he showed out in, in uh, the UAE at the beginning of the year. For me, the question mark is over Ravi Papara and whether or not he is going to be fit to play or not. Because if he is, he's straight in. Exactly. I mean, they, they, the argument was that he had side strain, so he couldn't bowl, so therefore they, they didn't play him for that reason. Now you play him as a batsman, and perhaps in that order in front of Matt Pryor as well, arguably. Um, perhaps Sam, in, a certain, in a weird way, that might be a sort of batting order there, except Strauss is not going to hide in the middle order. Stay ahead of the game with Sports Tonight Live. Don't miss a thing. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Search for Sports Tonight Live on Facebook and like our fan page. Follow Sports Tonight TV on Twitter and tweet us your thoughts and opinions. Sports Tonight Live, it's the platform for the fans.